guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be reading two books that is named, is that a fish? And I forgot this word, National Park. I just forgot. Acadia. Acadia National Park, that's what I was about to say. Oh. Okay, so which one do y'all want me to read first? Is that a fish or Acadia National Park? So I'm, I'm gonna do any mini money mo, which one I'm gonna read first. I told my mama to do the best book. Okay, so what's the real in this one? Okay, first I'll put this one right here. Okay. So the first one that we're gonna be reading is that a fish? I wonder what type of fish are going to be in here. What well, are fish? What does a fish look like? You might be surprised. Fish can be very big or very small. This shark is the largest fish in the world. Like other fish, it has a backbone. It breathes through its gills. It has fins to help it swim. Try to guess what down is. Let me see the picture. It is the whale shark. So guys, as you all know, the whale shark has like a huge mouth, but it can only eat tiny stuff because, um, because like his throat's so small, so if he eats the big thing, I'm gonna go into his mouth, and then like it will get stuck in his throat so he can't eat anymore. A horse or a fish. Some fish look like other animals. This fish is called a seahorse. The fin on the back of the seahorse beats very fast. This is how the seahorse moves around. A seahorse, a seahorse uses its tail to grab into plants. In, in the water, it can hide in the plants where no hungry fish can find it. A snake or a fish. This fish is called an eel. It looks a lot like a snake. It swims by moving its whole body. It can swim frontward and backwards. It breathes by opening and closing its mouth to pump water over its gills. Rays. This large flat fish is called a ray. It has wing like fins that help it gill through it the water. Some rays have spins on their tails. They use these spins to sting or Ray. Rays can hide on the bottom of the sea. Fish out of water. This fish lives on the mud. Flats when the tide goes out. This fish can stay on the land until the water comes back. It breathes through its skin. This fish sometimes comes into the land to look for fresh water. It wiggles its tail and props its body up on the fence when it moves. This makes it look like the fish can walk. It's like right here, it looks like the fish is walking, they said. Okay, and this fish is called a flatty, flatty fish. That's what they're calling. Is that a fish? Fish can be many colors and sizes and shapes. They can move in different ways. What will you see the next time you are close, you close your eyes and 
picture a fish. I wonder if that actually works. So that was the book. Is that a fish? Next one. Is that a fish? Attica? Acadia. Acadia National Park. Acadia. Acadia National Park. I'm going to go down. First to see the sun. Maine is the first state to see in the sunrise. And Maine... Attica. Attica. Oh, Acadia. Akita National Park is one of the places to see it first. Millions of people visit Attica each year. They come to see the sunrise on its tail peaks. They come to see it its inside forests, lakes and rocks and then and cast and cast. When the tide goes out, tide pulls from on Attica's Acadia. Acadia's beach. The tide pulls our home. Too many living things. Attica. Acadia. Acadia is a great place to watch birds. Some fly overhead south. Birds live in the park in the park all year. People have seen three hundred and thirty eight kinds of this of birds there. Acadia was their home to many Manials to some of those manuals mammals mammals live in the water and on land. What's that noise?